so excited to be sharing with you guys some different makeup hacks that I use to make me feel more confident and more beautiful. And these are very, very simple hacks that anyone can do. You can use them all together like I did on this. This is the final product, so make sure to stick around to see how I get here. Um, you can use them all together or you can use them each individually, take pieces that you love. It's all about what makes you feel more confident and beautiful. So let's get started with all these hacks. So the first tip I have is to just moisturize your face and add your one favorite makeup element. So just have like a nice moisturized face. Um, like you can add just a lipstick if that's your favorite makeup element. Mine's eyeliner, um, mascara, whatever like you need to have on your face, you put that on with some moisturizer and you'll instantly like feel so much better. So I'm gonna do it now. Okay, <laughs> I moisturized my face and now I am going to do my favorite makeup element which is eyeliner. And that is also our tip number two. Our tip number two is to do eyeliner on your top eyes. And the reason why is because it makes your eyes bigger and if you have bags in your eyes like me, uh, it makes your eyes seem bigger, you seem less tired. So I like to go all out and do like a huge like winged eyeliner, but you can just simply like go just right over your eye and do like a little wing. So I'm going to do my eyeliner now. to close my eye, pull it so it gets all nice and straight, and then I just go over it, over the, right above the waterline. And then to make my wing, I go right into the corner of my waterline and curve that up, and then I knead it. And then I fill it in. Then, then I go back with my eye open and get all these little spots. So that's, that's what I did with this eye as well. I just did it quicker because I have been doing eyeliner for a while. It is my staple makeup look. Alright, did the eyeliner. Look how it instantly like makes your eyes look bigger and more awake. So that's why I love doing top eyeliner and adding the little wings and the little foliar little thing. You know, I love that. So tip number three is to do a light layer of foundation just to make you feel like you're covered, you have like something on your face. I like to do a light layer sometimes if I'm like, I don't feel comfortable with how my face looks today, so I'll just do a light layer and it instantly makes me feel better. So I'm gonna put that on now. But I need to put on I like to take my foundation and my beauty blender and I put a little bit on. I put one pump all the way down and it's like a little clump and I like to put, put it in all the places first and then I just blend it in. Dab it. You should dab it on, don't rub it on. Dabbing it on is better and it makes it more spread. Make sure after you put on foundation to put on some sort of blush or bronzer right here so you don't look flat faced and dead. We're trying to avoid looking dead. This is what the tips are for. So I'm gonna add just like a little blush right here. Here we go. 
see the little pink added a little life to our face. So tip number four is to add sparkle or a pop of color. If you don't like sparkle or glitter or anything, a pop of color is for you. But if you're like me and you like sparkle and glitter, adding some glitter or sparkle to your face it makes me feel so much better. I feel like alive and pretty. So we're gonna add a pop of sparkle onto my eyes, like as eyeshadow, and we're gonna add some highlighter as well. You could do this step also on its own if you wanna just add like a little uh, eye, glitter eyeshadow onto your eyes without any eyeliner or anything, and then adding some highlighter makes you shimmer and look all glowy and pretty. So I'm just gonna do it with all the foundation and stuff on my face since I already have it on, so here we go. I'm gonna go in with some sparkle. This is super sparkly. So if you don't like super sparkly, that's fine. You can just have a little shimmery eyeshadow and you can add it on top. I like to go big and I just take this as like a little eyeshadow shimmer and I just swipe it on and then I blend it with a brush. color or your favorite lip color whatever your favorite lip color is will instantly make you feel so much better when you put it on again you could either just put on lipstick you don't have to do the rest of this but since I'm already doing it I'm just gonna add to it so um, I'm gonna add my favorite lip color which is um, red so I'm gonna add a pop of red color it matches my shirt you know how we all have to wear masks? I like to wear matte lipstick. Uh, it doesn't like stick onto the mask as much if I'm wearing all this with a mask on, so. All right, that was step number five, tip number five. Uh, we just added a little pop of color lipstick. Tip number six. And this is like something I've been doing during quarantine. This is a quarantine hack that I've been doing and it is literally just doing this part of my face. So for the quarantine hack, I usually, you know, I don't have all this on, but you know, we're just continuing on from what we've had. Um, I put on concealer only, I don't do foundation. So what I do with the concealer is I add it right here under my eyes I just add dabs to hold it on I also put some right here and then once I have it on I'm gonna go back in my beauty blender and I'm just gonna blend this out I would do like eyeshadow and my eyeliner as you see here so I already have that on and then I would also do my eyebrows so I first just brush out my eyebrows a little bit then I go in with this eyebrow pencil and just draw a little bit very lightly to fill in any little gaps I take it towards the to the end. So after I fill it in, I go in with the little brush and I brush it out just to blend the lines inside my eyebrow more so that I don't look like this line. And now it comes time to conceal on top and the bottom. So I go in with my little concealer. You can use just like a little brush with your concealer as well, but I just use the wand. And I go on top. I literally just do 
this and underneath as well. And don't worry, I am going to blend this in in a second. I just go in with the beauty blender and I start to blend out the edges. I try not to touch my eyebrow because then I get concealer in my eyebrow. Any more tips from me just comment on this and I will definitely try and help you best I can I am no professional makeup artist I just really love doing makeup and these are the hacks that I do to make me feel more confident and feel more beautiful so I hope you enjoyed this video and give it a like and I'll see you next time guys bye love you